So hi guys, how you doing? I hope you're all keeping well. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for all the new subscribers. I'm still receiving the love and I really appreciate that you guys are liking the part I'm creating. Thank you so much for watching and please, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. If you're new here, my name is Jane and this is Gracious Jane channel. In today's video, I'll be giving you some tips on how to travel on a budget to the Maasai Mara. Masai Mara is a national reserve. It is one of the largest national parks in Kenya along the Tanzanian border with an area of 1,510 kilometers squared. It's the home to lions, cheetahs, elephants, zebras, giraffe, hippos, and very many wild animals. One of the biggest attractions of the Masai Mara is the migration of the wild beast, which is considered one of the wonders of the world. Recently, Habi and I traveled to the Maasai Mara and had the opportunity to see the top five among other animals in the Mara. Based on this experience, I have some tips that I'll be sharing with you on how to travel to Maasai Mara on a budget. So that is the end exterior of our room. We are tent number four. So when you're coming, you find the jacuzzi over there and our two chairs. And then this is the entrance to the room. So when you just enter, bed is there. Well done. That's it. There's our bags. That is my bay. That's our snacks. So that looks like. And then you come behind this thing. There's a mirror. There is the mirror. Then there's the bathroom. That's the bathroom. Very well done. There we go. And that's the shower. So that's just the room in a nutshell or they provide those shoes and bathrooms and the dental kit and the usual stuff beautiful number one planning is vital travel during the low season it is much cheaper and you will see the big five it's less congested however you will miss one of the biggest attractions of the mara number two source for a local travel agent with this tip you will need to do your research thoroughly and ensure to check out reviews of their previous clients. Local agents are way cheaper. However, you have to contend sharing a tour van with other tourists. One of the leading tour agent in Kenya is Bonfire Adventures, which we personally used and we can recommend. Number three, book a full board package. This saves you lots of money. We stayed at Amayan Luxury Camp where they offered a buffet breakfast and set menu for the lunch and dinner. Food was freshly prepared and must add was very sumptuous. Number four, carry some money to buy snacks along the way. As you know, alcoholic beverages are quite costly in hotels. You can buy on the way instead of purchasing directly in the hotel or camp and enjoy it in your room. Number five, 
carry some medicine. Of course, you want to ensure to enjoy the most of this trip and not get sick. Carry some painkillers, mosquitoes, repellent, and some anti-acid if the food doesn't go too well with you. Since you've stayed to the last part of this video, I have a bonus tip. When you're traveling to the Mara, the road can be quite bumpy, so it's advisable to wear comfortable. Also, carry a camera to capture the moments. I do hope this video helps you in planning your next trip to the Maasai Mara and you make the most of it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please click the red button and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so that whenever I post a video, you get notified. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I'll then see you on the next one. That was nice.